My name is Michael Williams, and I'm alone. Amen. Two months ago, I lost my mother. Since then, my life isn't the same. Everyone moved away from me. Or maybe I moved away from everyone. I don't know. Anyway, nothing can take away this feeling of emptiness that I have. This distress. The combination of sadness, sickness, and weariness. I'm not thirsty. It's, uh, a clock. Hey, Johnny. Do you want to go to the bar after work? That's great. Hey, Michelle. You'll go to the bar with us after work, right? Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Hey, man. What do you think about going to the bar after work? Sure. Hi. You are Michael, right? Yes. So, I saw that, for some reason, Marcus didn't invite you to go with us to the bar after work, and I don't know why, so do you want to go with me? I mean, with us? Uh, well, sure, why not? Great, uh, see you there. Stupid, stupid, stupid. It is strange. In a flash, I became incapable of bonding with other people. I stopped going out with my old friends, stopped talking with them. Forming bonds with people or maintaining those bonds didn't make sense to me anymore. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Hey, good, and you? I'm fine. Man, I need to tell you something. Actually, there was an exception. Martin. I believe that, as we both felt something similar, our bond continued the same. Why am I doing this?
people, right? Yes. So, I saw that for some reason. Marcus didn't invite you to go with us to the bar after dinner. I don't know why, so... Do you want to go with me? 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 I mean, with us? Uh, well, sure, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Great! Great! Uh, see you there! See you there! See you there! See you there! The worst ideas come in the worst moments. That's something I've learned with time. What are you doing? This isn't for you. You don't belong here. They didn't even want to invite you. Don't spoil their party. You don't want to be judged, do you? Let's go home and sleep. It'll be better. Hey, Michael. Hey, Martin. How are you doing? Not that good, actually. And you? What happened? No, it's nothing. I just... I've been thinking about a lot of shit recently. But I don't want to talk about this right now. It isn't something that you or any other person can help me with. Don't lose your time. Huh? Okay. Everybody has their good and bad days. Unfortunately for me, it's like all are the bad ones. It's hard to differentiate what is good and what is bad. It all looks the same. I don't know. Thinking now, what is bad? What is good? It is hard to define with certainty. Hey, you're Michael, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Thankfully, we meet here. Look, I'm Jonathan Davies, and this is my wife, Olivia Roberts. Hi. Hey. We are neighbors for a while, and for some reason, one of your correspondents came on my mailbox. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Well, we have to go now. See you later, Michael. Wait! Um, Michael, do you want to have dinner with us someday? It would be nice to... to befriend one of our neighbors. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it and tell you. Mm, okay. Right. See you soon, Michael. See ya. sent me that. You really thought that I wanted to put you in my life again after you let mommy die. I thought I made it very clear at her funeral that I didn't want to talk to you again. Look, I know that as brothers we are supposed to be together on these hard times, that's what family does, but I can't forgive you. Really, I can't. Stop acting like this is possible, please. I never wanted to be your sister in the first place. 
understand. Be safe. Well, I tried. I'm sorry, Mom. Maybe a united family could help me. I don't know. Make me feel that I'm not alone. That I have their love. That I have a place where I belong to. But this is not my case, unfortunately. Where's Martin? I'm not thirsty. It's uh, a clock. What is this? Go to the rooftop as soon as possible, please. Strange. Is someone trying to play a trick on me? Michael. Where is he going? Calm down, Michelle. He'll be back soon. Then you can talk to him. Be patient. Martin? Hi, Michael. What are you doing here? Why have you called me? I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. My parents are gone. I don't have children. I don't have a girlfriend. I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm 30 years old and I achieve nothing. The only thing I have is a miserable job. I didn't do anything to be proud of my fucking life. I can't hold it anymore. It's killing me from the inside. I'm broken. Destroyed. That's why I need to end this. Hey, Martin. What the fuck are you saying, man? What are you talking about? That's why I called you here, Michael. I would like to say goodbye. See you one last time. Thank you for being my friend during this whole time. Forgive me for making you see this. Martin! Don't! Why did you have to do that, man? I could have tried to help you. We could have passed through this together. We always do. Since our childhood. I'm really gonna miss you. My best friend. The only one. I loved you. You're like my older brother. I hope you'll find happiness wherever you are right now.
Sometimes life tests us to see our limits. And it's because of these tests that we discover what must be done. Maybe it is something that we always knew, but didn't have courage until that moment. Mr. Williams? It's me, Doc. I am so sorry. No, 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 no. I can't believe it. Please, say to me that this isn't true. I'm not ready. <laughs> Doctor? It's all your fault! You couldn't even take care of your own mother! If she were with Linda, she would still be alive! Huh? What is going on? You have disappointed me, Michael. You left your sister alone. No, Mom, that's not true. She's not alone. I'm alone. Huh? It's your fault. You left me to die just like you did with your mother. You deserve to be alone. You're a monster. I hate you. Stop it! Please, stop it! Get out of my head! I didn't do anything to deserve this! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to sleep. Maybe tomorrow I'll be better. My name is Michael Williams, and I'm alone. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. 
Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird And if that mockingbird won't sing Mama's gonna buy you a diamond